<laughs> Today we are in a almighty oh, tour. <laughs> yeah, we wish we were going to start with that. <laughs> we were going to present the review. Uh, okay, I mean, and you know I'm recording now. <laughs> This is, of course, uh, movie time, and today's movie has been all Mighty Four, not <laughs> Oh Mighty Four. <laughs> oh Mighty Four. <laughs> and uh, this movie was um, uh, released the year of 2011, and why is that? <laughs> because it's made to cash in from the actual Marvel Thor movie. Yeah, they wanted you to, to buy the wrong movie, basically. They wanted your grandma to buy this instead of Marvel's movie. Basically. Yeah, exactly. They want to make money on mistakes. But that's fine. That's a way to make movies, too. I'm really sorry if you had to have this movie as a child under your Christmas imagine, tree. Imagine the disappointment. What, what, what did you pay for this? You can use, like, euros or something. Ten kroner, so it's like uh, one and a half dollars or something. Yeah, exactly. And that was too much. It yeah, was too it, much. It was too much. <laughs> okay, so um, we are going to discuss the characters first here, just to introduce them, and then we will talk about the plot. So, if we start with the uh, father, if, which is, of course, Odin, and uh, Odin is father of uh, Baldir and uh, Thor. So, Baldir and Thor are the brothers. And then we have uh, the sidekick for Thor, but maybe we should just start with uh, those three. So, what do you think about Odin, Baldir, and... Ah, we, we, let's wait with Thor. Odin and Baldir, what do you think about those two to start with? It's not like they appeared for very long. <laughs> no. Like yeah, the first ten minutes. Yeah, exactly. But um, um, oh, Odin had this monotone voice. He was talking constantly and repeating his words. Yeah, but yeah, all the time. <laughs> that's the problem with Odin. I think is that he has a really bad, really bad lines. I mean, he's just repeating himself and saying wow. the exact same thing, but like in different words. Uh-huh. Like you have the power within. You now have the power. I mean, just saying the same stuff all over. <laughs> yeah. He talks in a way that makes you think that he's like part senile. Hey, but that explains because the Thor's character was a bit dumb, so maybe he had to repeat himself <laughs> constantly that's just fa- because. Yeah, of that's this a fair point. Uh, stop it, son. Thor is like this stupid 15 year old, but we'll get to him. Yeah. And then we have his other brother. I don't know if we need to mention Baldir. much about him, Baldir, because he is like, yeah, he's, he's the stronger brother in this case. So. Thor hasn't really gotten any training during his uh, up, uh, upgrowing, and Baldir is the one that's is basically going to be fighting next to Odin, mm. and uh, Odin and Baldir doesn't trust Thor because yeah he's shit, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and and I just thought that maybe okay so he's not really ready in that way that this is a stronger fight than he can handle Thor, but. He hasn't gotten any training at all. Yeah, yeah he, he says that at some point that he never actually got any like, <laughs> fighting training. <laughs> the things he learned, he learned on his own by watching his brother train. Yeah, he took own initiative and started <laughs> looking at his brother while yes. his brother got training. It's from. like becoming a martial artist by watching YouTube videos. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it can be seen in the movie many points. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> His yeah. sorry ass is saved by so many characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the, he's mostly saved by this sidekick that uh, is going to be introduced later in the movie. And her name is Jan Saxa. Jan Saxa? Yeah. Jan Saxa. Yeah, Jan Saxa. And uh, she is basically his sidekick. Can we say it like that? Yeah. Well, or I feel sometimes that Thor was a sidekick and she was just yeah. ruling everything that yeah, was yeah. going on. How the movie turns out is the other way around, of course. But um, she is the one that's teaching him stuff. She is definitely the voice of reason in the movie. Yeah. Like, she is kind of person you should listen to and for doesn't because, <laughs> you know, he's an idiot. Yeah, and you also get the sense that she is more of his mother than his lover, lover, yeah. But in according to the mythology, Darn Saxa is actually Thor's lover, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, if you're going to give the movie something, is that they actually try to be fair to the to the story about the mythology in the Nordic mythology. So, yeah, uh, they're using a lot of references to that, which yeah. is good. Uh, mm. They they did their research. And then we have uh, what I think is the best actor in the movie. Uh, it's the main villain and the only villain, uh, Loki. Yeah. Loki was cool. Loki but was actually a really good actor. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, he. You can. You can. Uh, like you said uh, during the watch, uh, Ruba, is that you can actually see him in another movie, in a bigger movie, where he gets to to express himself more and maybe use his full potential. Yeah, because if we he had better materials to work with, he would have been better. But now he has to work with this shitty movie. So yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he, he can only be that good. He can't be no better. You're only as good as the script. You're only yeah. as good as. Yeah, but he had his points. Like I think uh, he outshined all of the other actors. Like he, he clearly had the experience. Like he could express the emotions, and yeah. even he had shitty lines, he at least fulfilled them. <laughs> I thought his facial expressions was very good. Yeah, yes, you, you, I like them. You can like see some sort of trying to be angry or trying and to insanity, like the trickster yeah, Loki. Like look, yeah, you like he's got, crazy. Yeah, yeah, because Loki is a trickster by the mythology, and he really lived on the dad. Like he was a bit like. Playing around, goofing around. I think it was because of the background of the character. More has, has he starred in another movie before? I watched the. I looked uh, quickly at IMDb. The only thing that stood out to me was Twenty Two Jump Street. Was he in that? Apparently, but I don't think he's <laughs> a big actor, actor. No, maybe it was like a like a side. side he person. had a. He was a named character, but I don't know. Oh, okay, so he wasn't like a Taxi Driver Number Three. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think he, could, he, I think he could reserve his spotlight in this movie. Yeah, maybe, maybe he will appear in another movie. Maybe another movie. Maybe something we will review in future, so yeah. we can compare what happened after his career with this. Do you think he hates that he's been in this movie? Uh, that would be. Uh, I would love to know. Do you think he got paid? I'm sure he got. Why would they see oh, on his face? We forgot to mention that one character also that's yeah, very important. That one guard in the beginning. Yeah, there was oh. this guard because they clearly have a low budget, so they had like <laughs> what three actors that was copied him over <laughs> acting cards, and yeah. he appeared really many times. They were trying to simulate like there was this big army that's awaited uh, Loki, but they only had like. One guy standing there. Who's it was one him close and two others that start, yeah. and then it was mostly him just like in different positions. Yeah, and they like cut back to him all the time, and, like just him making some sort of oh no facial expression. Here we come. <sighs> but uh, he, he, he did he did that very well, right? Yeah, yeah. he was awesome. I can see him being in more movies. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay, so uh, what is the movie about? Well, he, Loki wants to bring the Ragnarok. That was the idea. At he least wants the to destroy main plot the world. is easy to follow, yeah, because that's basically it. Then it's revealed right at the yeah. start. Yeah, he wants to rule the world, wants to destroy the world for some reason. Why it's not still, just control it? I don't know. But uh, yeah. It's an uh, idea behind the Ragnarok. It's within the mythology that the world should end and be born. Yeah, but why? But he yeah. wants to destroy the current world and uh, rule the new world. Yeah, yes. exactly. He wants so, to rule the new world, which yes. is hell. No, it, it's never is. really said out loud but from what he said and suggested I got the feeling that he won't bring Ragnar out destroy the current world and then a new world would be born that he would rule instead mm. and by by doing this he needs the hammer yeah Odin's hammer and of course uh, Odin tries to you know hide it somewhere so Loki can't find it so he hides it somewhere uh, which we get to later uh, what we can say now it doesn't really matter. He it's it's hidden in the in the life of tree tree of life tree of life. Yeah, I always say it in the wrong. <laughs> say it in the wrong You're order. talking like Odin now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> talking like a sea like Odin. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and that's also if uh, if we want to follow the Nordic, it's called Ugra Sil. Ugra Sil. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, that's what it meant. So he hides it there, and then of course Loki wants to find it. What I never understood about this movie is why Thor felt he needed to find it. Yeah, I don't know if he like received extra power. I mean, it's never really expressed in the movie. His but fat, the Odin was saying it in his dying breath, Please, my son, get it. And then he's like, no, I will kill Loki. Please get it. And he's like, no. And then he's like, please get it. And then he's like, okay, Potter, I will get it. That yeah. was the reason. Yeah. <laughs> You can describe the entire uh, scenery. Yeah, <laughs> every every conversation in yeah. this movie is exactly like that. Yeah, <laughs> but just before, let's just say yeah. that we move into the spoiler sections because it's really hard to talk about this movie uh, without <laughs> being there. So we are moving in there now. So okay, so yes, uh, the 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 problem with this movie is it's 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 very repetitive. It's trying to extend itself. 
by saying the same things all over again. It's very frustrating to watch. So they're arguing about one thing, they walk for a bit, then they're arguing about the same thing, walk for a bit more, yeah. and then repeat. Yeah, because the relationship between Thor and Jarn Saxa, uh, they're supposed to be lovers, they're supposed to fall in love and stuff like that uh, during the movie. You can't really get the feeling that they... It, that, uh, no. Because they all, only argue, argue... It sounds more like, as if one of you guys said, that uh, it's like more like nagging mother and son who doesn't want to listen at yeah, all what she says. Because he's behaving like a, like a stupid It teen, all comes teen, down teenager. to teenager. that Thor is one of the dumbest and most incompetent main characters I've ever seen in any movie. Yeah, also his face kind of clearly says yeah. that. Yeah. I'm stupid. It's, I don't know. it's like... Half open all the time, looking like no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so okay, so so the relationship between them is supposed to evolve into some sort of crappy love story because it's not good. Uh, they never <sighs> kiss. They never show any sort of uh, love to each other. But more than the words they say to each other, they say something like, "Yeah, you had my heart, and and you have mine," and that's pretty much it. Mm-hmm. That's their love story. The thing I don't understand is that this movie is rated from, depending on your country, it's either fifteen years or uh, your eighteen or eighteen years uh, restriction on the movie, and I don't get that at all because there are no sex scenes or not even kissing and the action is not gory you can no. ba- barely see them hitting anything yeah, there is no drug use or anything like that no. whatsoever no, I have and no barely idea. blood barely yeah, there, blood. there really little blood like something coming out of their mouth yeah, for a couple yeah of and times. Thor got like this cat on his arm but that's just like no it wasn't the cat it was the it's bullet the wound oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. we will get back to that later yeah. it was a small flesh wound at least but you know so I I wouldn't give this kind of restriction for this. No, I don't. No, maybe it's to warn people to not watch it. Uh, <laughs> yes, that it's... is actually that's very nice of them actually. <laughs> Yeah. The reviewers were watching this, and this is so shitty that we don't think, want people. Think to be... of the children. <laughs> think of the children. <laughs> yeah. So so for and your Saxa, it's supposed to be that she's teaching him stuff and he's going to grow as a person but you never feel that he's evolving as a person no he's, the he's same, not. exactly the same stupid guy the entire movie and for some reason she like feels like he has the power and stuff like that but he, he as a viewer you don't, don't get that feeling she tries a nice way to say that even you are so dumb there is something good in him it's like you know when someone gives feedback you give, yeah. they say there's something nice and something Bad. It would, uh, there is nothing much to say. You, about. you are very brave, but you are a fucking moron. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> more or less. Movie, yeah. And it happens time after time after time. Forces. Yeah. I'm gonna do this. She says, "No, don't do that. That's a dumb idea, and you're an idiot." And he says, "I'm gonna do it anyway." He does it. It ends up backfiring. Yeah. She comes to save him. That happens like five or six yeah, times. Yeah, that happened like not once or twice. It happened like five or six times. <laughs> <laughs> then yeah. he never learns. Yeah. Not even so towards the end. If they were to cut down the scenes to, to just like one of those, the movie would have ended like in half an hour. Yeah, also the uh, action scenes when they're fighting, everything is in slow motion every time. The action scenes are horrible. Yeah. It's painful to watch. And that, that's a problem for me because I, I I get that, you know, with the CGI and stuff, that that can look bad because it's, it's it's very expensive to do that. But the fighting scenes, you can always practice the, the choreography mm. uh, in order to make that look good. But they yes. have chosen the cheap way of, you know, making a, like an easy fight and then move into slow motion and uh, like make it look like an action film action scene but nothing's really happening it doesn't work when it's no. all slow motion no. and you can clearly see in the slow motion how badly they're bad at their movement it is so it makes it even worse yes and you can make i think you can make a slow motion scene like like a small segment of the scene like one time yes. in order to make something cool like now this is happening like, like someone he, leaping in the yeah, air or, yeah or he swings the hammer for the first time or something like that that makes like try to make an impact but this they're just using the slow mo filming like all the time. And we can comment on this side about the slow motion, also about the freaking shaky camera. Yeah. It <laughs> made me feel ill in yeah. the start of the movie. The, the, it was not well done. It was like constantly a bit of shake. Like yeah. there was a couple good shots, but uh, most of it was a bit. No. Nah. Yeah. Usually, okay. when they use the shaky camera, it's because they want to like, like give the viewers a sense of reality that. 
okay, you're moving your head when you're looking at him or talking to him or something like this. But as you said a little bit, it feels like they're just looking at a cell phone camera mm-hmm. and like just do you have one camera and one guy is yeah. fo- following them around. Yeah, and he in, he he wasn't able to keep the phone uh, still. Yeah, that's pretty much how it feels like. So mm-hmm. they they made a they could have just bought us that I, or something like that. And, and also in the beginning when Loki is attacking Asgard, there's supposed to be like this earthquake effect and they're shaking the camera even more. And yeah. I was actually starting to get nauseous. Yeah, yeah it was really horribly yes. done. You get the feeling of motion sickness yes. when they, they did like that. So they did that also very poorly. Uh, they kind of feel like they have been like reading up how, how to make a, like a good movie or a cool movie or scenes or stuff like that and just take it to... to to the wrong end. It kind of feels in a way like yeah, it could have been this one guy just graduated from school and learned all of this at school and he was like, okay, put me in charge. I know all these neat yeah, tricks exactly. that can make a cool movie in a yeah, cheap way. Yeah, exactly. I've seen a lot of movies and I went to a movie course once. Oh, I know stuff about movies. Uh, so so the camera work is, is really bad. Uh, the acting is, I gotta say, uh, it's it's... I think it's bad throughout the movie. I mean, as you yeah, said, yeah, Luki is. is pretty okay, but still, it doesn't help. It doesn't cover up all the no. mistakes of the others. Because also, Luki, what the hell is he doing throughout the movie? He's just walking. Walking around in the greening. Yeah. That is um, cool walking, at least. <laughs> yeah, because he doesn't really do anything. No. Yeah. Just, that famous movie that nothing is really happening. No. <laughs> They're just walking back and forth. Following each other. The majority of the movie is like in this dead look where Loki is trying to find the hammer. Thor is like, I want to fight Loki. And John Saxon says, no, you are not ready. He's going to kick your ass again. And then they are like in this strange loop that continues for the whole movie. Yeah, exactly. There's like several scenes where they try to fight and he fails. And she tells him you are not ready. And he says, okay, and does it anyway. As we said before, that happens a lot. So that's why we keep coming back to that, and because they do it in the movie, mm-hmm. it's like the exact same thing. But we must bring up this epic scene where uh, one of the time one four fights Loki, and he comes at him with an Uzi and tries to <laughs> shoot him, and then Loki steals the Uzi and shoots four down instead. Yeah. I gotta say, that brought that. Was, I don't know if they went like uh, a comedy with that, or or they were trying to make yeah. that look cool. I like that because it's it kind of differs from the from what I expected from the movie. Like usually, yeah. these kind of bad movies try to sell out to the point that they have a bit more humorous and you can get a laugh out of it at yeah. least. Yeah. And that is usually why we enjoy watching these movies because even if it's really shitty, usually you laugh a lot. But in this case, it was just boring most of the. Yeah. There was a couple good yeah. scenes, as yeah, Adam said, the yeah. shooting scene. We laughed but, a lot. Of yeah, we laughed a lot on that, but it doesn't still cover up that. I wouldn't sit again and watch this movie with no, anybody. No, no, no. Compared no. to many other movies we have seen that yeah. are like B rated. I, I would say many movies we've seen. Now it's on. I, I think the only one I would see again is the Alien vs. Ninja movie. Well, yeah. that was cruel. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I think that one of the worst feelings you can get from a movie is the feeling that nothing is really happening yeah, exactly. so it just becomes boring. Yeah. And that's what the majority of this movie was. Yeah. Well, Robo Kesha had even almost... Better action is, than the Yeah, that's this. the thing. Say what's wrong about Rob Gage, but things happened there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but this one is uh, like repeated. It was like a hide and seek, and uh, yeah, that's it. But just they were all trying to get the hammer. That's the point. Because the Loki needs the hammer to destroy the tree, I guess. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but the whole movie is like first Loki and Jarn Saxa walking to the hammer. And then Loki following them. Then they get the hammer and walk away. And then Loki following them. It's it's just a chase. Yeah. yeah. And also they, they a were, chase. Uh, they a very yeah. slow pace. Yeah, chase. Chase. Really slow. They're walking after each other. Yeah, and yes. also there's some funny. F- I mean, they're very close to each other, like all the time. Like mm-hmm. in the beginning of the movie, where Odin gets killed, uh, they lost four, and four is like uh, apparently only twenty meters there from. And then he runs over to his brother and sees that he's dead and says, oh no, and, and, and blah, blah, blah. And then he's like looking to the left and there's Odin. And he's like, oh, you're also dead. <laughs> and they do this a lot because also when they move into the human world, they're uh, like uh, you said, they're fighting a lot, uh, Thor and uh, Loki. 
and uh, four always escapes. But it only escapes like 10 meters and then they are on the safe side. Loki <laughs> can just like walk outside the door yeah, and they will find the them again. That's the thing that when, when he ignores John Stark's advice again and goes to challenge Loki, then he just like goes around the corner and escapes Loki! Like, yeah, here I am. <laughs> like every time. Yeah. yeah. They, and they are very inconsistent also with the powers that, uh, that Loki has. I hate inconsistency because... It just feels like you're saving the movie for the moment when you use yeah. stuff like that. But he has a staff that that can one shit and one, one, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. one, one shot. <laughs> one. Uh, but it's so shitty already. Yeah. <laughs> one shit. Yeah, yeah, he's one one shit than me. <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but he never used it on Thor or anywhere. No. no. Also, you kind of get the feeling that the staff is more powerful than the hammer. Yeah. Because as um, you say, he can just run around and kill people with uh, with the staff. To be fair, that hammer seems pretty worthless aside yeah. from the thing that he can destroy the tree of life. Yeah, the only thing they do with the hammer is like bouncing it towards walls and stuff and make cracks. That's yes. pretty much all they do. They never kill anyone with it, I don't no. think. No. Maybe uh, in the end, you know, when Thor is like having the final battle. Yeah, um, but that's not that hammer. No, this was a different hammer. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's two hammers in the yeah. end. Yeah, I made a different yeah, hammer. Yeah, because Loki gets ha- gets his hands on the hammer uh, in the end, and then he brings forth Ragnarok and sends Thor and Jarn Saxon to hell, basically. Yeah. She died there, right? Yeah, yeah she died. Yeah. But Thor, for some reason, didn't. Yeah. No. They but never I've, explained that either. No, but I have a theory. Yeah. Because when you when you looked in hell, you see, saw that there was some sort of land, and also <laughs> there was some lava, and running like through the lands. So I think she fell into the lava, and the Thor, he fell on the land. You mean that Thor survived only by dumb luck, yeah, that exactly. he managed to not fall into a lava river? No, yeah. it was just yeah. dumb But then, okay. then he puts his hands down into the lava, Brings up oh, yeah. a, ju- or a pile of it and then s- fists it with his hands and crushes it between his hands. And all of a sudden he has a new hammer. Yeah, he forms it by, uh, by himself. That's apparently more powerful than the old legendary hammer. So why did yeah. he do this from the beginning? I don't know. That cannot be uh, the storyline of the mythology. No, I know. Ne- there, is, there is a place where it make the weapons, I think. There's yeah, a special. The, the dwarves make them. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But we should also say that Loki gets the hammer and actually destroys the tree of life. And all the trees and greenery and things die off. Oh, yeah. He actually managed to do what he was supposed to do. Yeah, but then Thor comes back and beats the shit out of him. And then he goes back to the tree and magically the tree uh, gets his heart back and everything turns back to normal. Exactly. Here is the problem with that for me. Uh, first, I liked that Loki was able to do this, that he actually did mm. what he was foretold to do, or the fate, or whatever, and he managed to do it. And it, and then they had a lot of s- scenes of, you know, p- buildings getting destructed, and, and, uh, and plants dying, and stuff like mm. that. And it was a big deal, I think. Yes. Uh, and he walks out there and he's super happy. The movie should have ended there. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. it would have been actually... I could have been a better score for this movie. Yeah. It would have actually ended there. Based on the competence it of... It could have ended with uh, for killing Loki also, but the world's still ending. Yeah, exactly. That, that was what my, my point was, was that, okay, so he managed to do this, and it's a sad ending in a way, but they... Like get the feeling that they could rebuild it, or mm. or uh, okay, the tree of life is now dead, and now we need to do something else, or or something like. Or that. maybe the new world could be led by Thor instead. Yeah, like because, it, yeah. That would have been better ending than exactly. Yeah, it could actually be a pretty good ending, like for like being in the spirit. Then he rallies people and say, okay, the world is ended and it's in ruins, but if we work together and we have hope, we can yeah. rebuild it. Yeah, that it shows. Some sort of leadership, some yeah. sort of uh, king action, blah, blah, blah. Like. Not that it just, like, magically yeah. comes back the yeah, way it because was. Because all he does when he has killed uh, Loki is he just walks back to the Tree of Life and says something stupid, and then it, it comes back to life. You he will live as long as I live. Yeah, I don't think he does anything. No. No, you never see really no, why he, he just comes looked, back to yeah, life. Yeah, he looks down to the Tree of Life and it comes back. <laughs> and the Tree of Life is like, but, oh, but, yeah. But now I remember the thing that Loki did when he had the hammer. He screamed Ragnarok every time he tried to hit someone with it. Like he was an anime character, like from Naruto or something. Yeah. He uh, had to shout the name of his or, attack for it to be effective. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a funny story. Cobra. <laughs> 
Yeah, that was also stupid. You could just uh, yeah, yeah. if he's going to end all worlds in that pace, it will take forever. I mean, he was like destroying one street at a time. Like, yeah, and that took forever. To yeah, just he had, destroy one he had some help from his hellhounds, but they weren't yeah, even no. fast. They showed this like uh, news clip where they talked about how there was like, scratching going on in Southern California. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that was gonna take a while. Yeah, that was a very, suspe- uh, very specific Southern California. It wasn't okay. The world is moving towards its end. <laughs> no, it's like there's a street in Southern California <laughs> that now needs to new payment. <laughs> 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 because of yeah, yeah, because of Loki it. and Loki maybe spent like a month there so yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it just feels like they could have killed him because uh, if you want to destroy the world you need to do I want to refer to the, the Marvel movies again but I'm going to do it because of the spoiler <laughs> because you, you want it to end directly yeah. otherwise people will probably kill you or get some revenge or something like that but it, during the when the Ragnarok happened after he scored the Tree of Life thing, then show this scene of like uh, forest being frozen over and oceans being drained of whatever it was. Yeah, so. mm, yeah. yeah, but the problem is that when they reported it, they only reported it to the Southern California. Yeah, that's the thing. They apparently didn't care about the oceans being no, gone. Exactly. It was more important about there being hellhounds in California. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Americans. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We have a huge problem with nature all over the world, but... Jesus Christ, we can't buy yeah, weed. It wasn't that consistent. Can't buy weed in California anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't consistent at all. It was like, like if all the life was dying, that would have meant that all the humans would have died also if he gave the free of life. Yeah, no. basically. Like, it, it, it didn't, it made no sense. No. Why the people were living and still running away in terror. Mm. Maybe it was 50-50. Yeah, maybe it was 50-50. <laughs> no, no. Is that a new idea you have? Yeah, no. <laughs> this is basically my idea. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, the end, we have discussing it, uh, discussed it. And uh, what do you think about the end overall? I think it just... It didn't... I, as I said, it would have ended where the... What we would have said that yeah. Loki actually destroying it and Thor maybe killing Loki and leading a new world, but no, it was it made no sense and yeah, I think exactly. it was a bit like it was not like a flop. It boiled it up to it and really poorly yeah. boiled it up to it, so and then it just stayed as poor as the boiler. Because that's what I think that you can have limited budget uh, and and that will of course uh, make a difference on the CGI and the costumes and stuff like that, but. I think that the, the, the script uh, will, should not be affected in that way. You could always write it in a way that it's the same throughout the movie. It's, mm-hmm. it's showing some sort of consistency and that you don't add new powers or or the, the tree of life can come back to life. There's, there's nothing that said it would or... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Explain it a bit better to yeah, the weaver. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Did the, did the Norns... Norns are the what are they, the witches? Weavers of fate. Yeah, they yeah, they're like kind the, of weaving the future or something. Yeah, they're, they're all in the mythology, so they like weave the past, present, and future into the deepest of memory. Right? So they are like all about feet. Yeah, but is is the thing that they weaves are the the truth or just something that's suggestion from their side? I call the mythology is supposed to be the truth. So what they weave is the truth. Yeah. And they were clearly on Loki's side, which would have meant that they would have weaved it in his favor. Yeah, but yeah. they were really pissed also at the end because Thor changed the fate they had woven. Yeah, but that's my point. If How is possible? Yeah. yeah. If the Norns had weaved it in the way, Loki should have won. Yeah. Which should. would make more sense also that he would won in the form of the Tree of Life getting killed and stuff like that. Yeah. But I think that's meant to be like the core theme of the movie that we can like change fate and build our own fate somehow yeah, it know. it is stupid but yeah that yeah, is it, what happens yeah, it's but, sort of moral. but also in the actual Norse mythology the Ragnarok happens and all of the gods except one dies yeah so it Ragnarok actually happens in Norse mythology mm. So. Mm. so you mean it's fine that it, it should have ended like that yeah, it should have been better Okay. Uh, they should, should have followed the old mythology instead, or because rather the, than making a spin off the Marvel, try yeah. to get the Marvel into this. Yeah. So, so how true do you think they are to the mythology? Uh, Did they do the research pretty good? Yeah, Some uh, of I, it, I, yes. think so, I think so. I think so. I think so. The yeah. things that appear actually are 
Kind of like they should be. Yeah, because the references they use are, of course, the Odin, uh, the Baldir, Thor, Jan Saxa, Loki, Norns. And then we have Loki that summons the Garm, like the Norse Hellhounds, and then the Lindom, which are Nordic mythological yeah. dragons. Yeah. yeah, and of course they were in uh, Asgard in the beginning, they mentioned Midgard, yeah. Tree of Life, of course. and Ragnarok. Yeah, so... I mean, uh, they covered the basics. Uh, they, they actually yeah. did the research with yeah. North mythology, so that's a plus. Yeah, and that's much better than the Marvel movies. They did not Super Mario movie, it, at least. No, so. they did not. <laughs> no, exactly. This, this is a story about four. Yeah. So mm-hmm. that's a good point, actually. Mm-hmm. So it's not just a movie where they put the four sticker on it and <laughs> call yeah, it a day. To be fair, it... They did take this one useless guy and they put the four sticker on him. I don't think four was that useless in mythology. No, no. But this could be a new, a new direction of it. Maybe, oh. maybe this is a start. No, it's not because it was released in two thousand and eleven. But it could be a start of a useless four, with uh, as a useless king. Thank God it ended here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know. Maybe there is a. Yeah. I won't buy it. Yeah. Okay. The female lead we never discussed much, but I think she did okay job. Well, trying at least. She tried. She tried to be dramatic and uh, tried to push it like, but it's flopped. I mean, we, because we, of the if you're acting with someone like the Thor actor was, it was poor impossible. She tried to be dramatic and say that you have the power within you, and he stared back with a <laughs> half open mouth like. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> he's like did you understand what I said yeah I did yeah, yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> yeah, it was like okay, that can you repeat what I said no no no, <laughs> it's no I don't, like don't want to do that I feel bad for the female lead <laughs> trying so bad <laughs> trying so bad she seemed it, I felt her despair with Thor and she was so it's, it's actually during one point in the movie she actually tells him basically stay in your room and I will fix this <laughs> and he says okay and then he fucks it up and then he fucks it up <laughs> and at one point Thor actually says okay I have learned my lesson now I won't do it and still does it again <laughs> exactly like a minute later <laughs> yes <laughs> like a minute oh later. and also I just missed mention I thought that was awesome it's like when you're moving towards free your life yeah and also free your life Thor and Jan Saxa <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Thor tells Jan Saxa I need to do this myself and Jan Saxa says no we need to do this together okay and they walk three steps and it's like okay let's go no you need to do this by yourself <laughs> <laughs> and it's like okay <laughs> and then he walks in <laughs> oh my god it was, but it was funny yeah. but at least like these kind of factors may give a bit humor effect to it no, so. it's more fun to discuss it than to see it yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so maybe we get the impression it gives the impression of the movie being funny that way but it was only like a few scenes that was actually very funny yeah there was and I don't yeah. think it would tend to be funny yeah, yeah. and it, it wouldn't be worth it to see it it uh, is a bit fun to speculate because I can totally all see Odin dropping four on the head when he was a baby also because that, <laughs> that would is. explain a lot <laughs> that is what I, what I say that maybe he was not trained because he was just so dumb <laughs> that Odin realized yeah. that okay this son is lost case yeah, yeah. and when he was dying he was like okay yeah. I need to try to save this world somehow and you're in my last three that's also funny because in the beginning they, they run the three of them are running towards a fight uh, for uh, Baldir and Odin and uh, for and uh, I mean Odin and Baldir had some training but four obviously don't and they discuss it but they're still going to fight all three of them. So I guess four wanted, uh, Odin wanted him to die. <laughs> said an experienced guy will never hold a sword in his life to fight some dragons. And Odin said that multiple times. I want my sons to die with me. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It wasn't really uh, positive. <laughs> no. <laughs> he must say I want to live with my sons. I think there are mental issues in that family for sure. Yeah. Uh. I should, oh have I should have mentioned the mother too. Uh, doesn't matter. Okay, so uh, first of all, would you recommend the movie? Let's go in turns. Let's go in turns. Yeah, yeah but I just want to know the general. Recommend. No, know. I wouldn't. Not even as a like a drunk no. fun movie. Like instead, I I would say. I would watch anything else. Yeah, I would recommend Ninja vs. Alien. No, I would never recommend You can listen to this. That pretty much covers it. Yeah. And uh, I mean, if you are very high, maybe it's funny. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, no, no, because then I think you want something where something's actually happening. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's very dull. Okay, so if we uh, rate the movie then, if we should start with... Uh, do you want to start with it or... 
Uh, sure. Uh, I hated the movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a ring. <laughs> well, uh, okay. Yeah, okay. But uh, what? What? Uh, so, so, so you need to grade it, of course. Uh, how will you grade it? What? What kind of perspective? Minus one. <laughs> no, but I, I'll give it a two out of ten. But that's being generous, because I thought it was terrible. It was so freaking boring, and they were just walking back and forth, and the script was awful, and I just hated it, and I wished it was over when mm. it should have been over, like 10 minutes in. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's not... I felt like you guys were laughing at a lot more than I did. I was just wait, sitting there waiting for the thing to <laughs> you were end. Feeling depressed. Yeah, I was what just sitting not... there shaking my head. What oh. am I not getting? Yeah, <laughs> this is so terrible. Okay, so uh, two out of ten. Two out of ten, and yeah. that's generous. That's generous. Okay, and Hena? Well, I want to rate Loki differently out of everything because Loki. No, just... you can't. I can't, but I will <laughs> because I have the power of w- woman in me, so oh. I will take that. <laughs> But I rate Loki like I would say five out of ten for his trying at okay. least. I would give Loki five out of ten. But then just his acting skills. Yes, his acting skills. Yeah, I will so give some bonus the actor by for the actor and better. But the full movie in total, mm, I would agree, agree with like two or three stars out of ten. Like Choose. I wouldn't watch it. Choose one. Two. 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 Okay. I will say it's two. I agree yeah. because. There, it made me feel sick in the start. So I had actually like this <laughs> nausea feeling yeah. full yeah. mood because I'm, I'm easily motion sick and <laughs> it was bringing me down. Yeah. <laughs> so if you feel easily motion sick, please don't watch it. Don't watch it for any reason. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to watch this, something's wrong with you. Exactly. If you want to watch this, don't watch this. If your grandma buys this to you, Yes, choose it as a, like a... Make her see it first. <laughs> like that, a yeah. coaster for your monk or something. Yeah, it's like, that would work, maybe. Yeah. And Adam, what do you think? Well, we have seen bad movies before on movie time, but I think this is the worst one we've seen so far. And there are a few details that I guess are plus, like they did the research with Nordic mythology, and there were a few scenes that made me laugh, especially that Utsi scene. <laughs> <laughs> but... It's still a terrible movie, so I'll just give it 2 out of 10. Yeah, and for me, uh, I actually thought the movie was entertaining in some way. I mean, I laughed uh, pretty much uh, about some few scenes, of course, uh, not the movie throughout. Uh, uh, but I had a real hard time with uh, with with the movies, you know, with the inconsistency. Mm. I, I didn't like the camera work. Uh, and the editing was really strange because it went back and forth with the same scenes. And the actors also sucked, uh, so I will give it a uh, three out of ten. Oh, you still came once. Yeah, turn. because I don't agree. With, I, don't, I don't agree with Adam. I didn't think this is the worst one we've seen. I think Robo Geisha was far more worse because I really wanted that to end. I hadn't. I didn't have the same problem with this one. Yeah, but I think it's because Robo Geisha lasted longer than could this. Be one. That. So at yeah, least, at could least, be that. at least we didn't need to sit over two hours with this. So no, that it was one hour twenty eight minutes. So yeah. we saved half hour of my life. We wasted <laughs> one and a half hour to this movie. Robo Geisha not a good movie, but I think more happened there, so I never felt as bored. There as was stronger one. points the, the the funny parts in Robo Geisha were more fun than yeah. the parts in this movie because it was just it was basically just boring mm-hmm. it was pretty boring yeah but yeah I wouldn't still give it more than two or three out no. Loki still gives my uh, actor favorite from yeah. part from Hena <laughs> okay <laughs> let's see so. if we can get an interview with him for next episode oh yeah totally we call yeah. It. let's call him let's back. talk with those guys who shat all over my movie <laughs> <laughs> They watch but, it. but maybe Loki would talk with us be like, all of us yeah like, maybe Loki. he also hates the movie we can sit or hate on it together yeah that would be the first uh, <laughs> okay so uh, that's that's it for today I think yeah. so uh, thank you for listening thank you and we see you next time bye bye, bye.